This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good evening, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for January 4, 2023. And in the news this evening, a taxi operator murdered in Seaview Gardens, St. Andrew. A taxi operator was murdered in Seaview Gardens, St. Andrew this morning. He is 32-year-old Javon Ferguson. He was found slumped over the steering wheel of his taxi along a roadway in the community. He was shot in the head. The murder is being investigated. PNP MP distances himself from brothers arrest in airport drug seizure. People's National Party Member of Parliament, Mikhail Phillips, has acknowledged that his brother was arrested over Monday's major drug seizure at the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston. The police report that about 7 a.m., anomalies were detected on a suitcase destined for the United States of America during routine security checks. A search of the luggage was conducted and the illicit drug with an estimated street value of U.S. $600,000 was found, according to the police. A manhunt was launched and the suspect was subsequently apprehended in the Kingston 6 area. He was arrested for reasonable suspicion of breaches of the Dangerous Drugs Act. In a statement today, the MP said he is in no way connected to the incident. I am not the subject of any investigation and have no reason to be involved with it, Phillips said. We are both sons of the late Mrs. Minion Phillips and have never resided together as brothers. I am aware of social postings, which have resulted in me being called by friends concerning the matter, and hence I have decided, setting out all the information I have concerning it. The issue is unrelated to me and therefore I am and remain unconnected to it, he said. Explosion inside restaurant at the Bahia Principe Hotel there was an explosion inside a restaurant at the Bahia Principe Grand Jamaica Hotel in St. Anne this morning. In a statement, the company said two workers received the injuries which were treated and that they were sent home. It said that the incident which happened at approximately 4.45 occurred during cleaning and preparation. It said that sections of physical facilities were damaged. The fire brigade was also on site to support and process the scene. The company said that it has launched an investigation. It noted that operations continue at both the Bahia Principe Grand Jamaica and the luxury Bahia Principe Runaway Resorts. St. Catherine South Police List the Five Persons of Interest The St. Catherine South Police have listed five men as persons of interest in relation to the recent flare-up of major crimes in the Old Harbor area. Being sought are Paul Ronaldson, otherwise called the Paul, Ruben Nugent, alias Ruben, a man known only as Biggs, Sheldon Brown, otherwise called the Twelve, a man known only as Baba Roots. All five men are being asked to report to the Hunts Bay Criminal Investigations Branch by midday on Thursday, January 5, 2022. Additionally, anyone with information about the whereabouts of these men is being asked to call the St. Catherine South Police at 876-949-8397 or Crime Stop at 311. St. Andrew Mother and Infant Son Reported Missing The halfway tree police are seeking the public's help to locate a mother and her infant son who have been reported missing. Being sought are 18-year-old Xavier Williams and her two-month-old son Zarek Roderick who are from Walton Park Road in St. Andrew. The police say the mother and the son have been missing since Monday, January 2. Xavier is of dark complexion, slim build, and is about 5 feet 5 inches tall. The child is also of a dark complexion. The police say Williams and her son were last seen in their community about 5.15 p.m. on Monday. When last seen, Xavier was wearing a green and white blouse, blue shorts, and a pair of white slippers. Efforts made to contact them have proven futile. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Xavier Williams and Zarek Roderick is asked to contact the Halfway Tree Police at 926-81845, Police 119 Emergency Number, or the nearest police station. Man gone down in Mount Salem, St. James 
A man was gone down in his yard last night in Mount Salem, St. James. Mount Salem is one of the communities across western Jamaica that is currently still under a zone of special operations. The deceased has been identified as 27-year-old Nicholas Clark, otherwise called the kid. It is reported that about 10.45 p.m., Clark was at home with his father when he went outside to fetch a bucket of water. Shortly after, gunshots were heard coming from the yard. The man's father went to investigate and Clark was found suffering from gunshot wounds. The police were called to the scene and the injured man was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. This is the second murder to be committed in St. James since the start of the year. Motorcyclist in Westmoreland dies a following crash. A man died at hospital from injuries he sustained after being hit while traveling along the main road in Nompril Negril, Westmoreland. He has been identified as 19-year-old Giovanna Garden of a Negril address. Reports from the Negril police are that shortly after 4 p.m. on Monday, Gordon was riding his motorcycle along the roadway when he was hit by a white Toyota RAV4, which was traveling in the opposite direction. Gordon sustained head and body injuries and was rushed to the Savannah Lamar Hospital, where he was admitted in critical condition. Gordon later succumbed. Gordon is the second person to be killed in a crash in Westmoreland since Sunday. Suspected suicide involving policeman in Westmoreland. Police investigators are now at the home of a Westmoreland cop who is suspected to have committed suicide. The body of Police Corporal Harris McDermott was this morning found inside his house, located at the Landalo housing scheme. The body had a gunshot wound. Investigators at the scene believed that the wound was self-inflicted. The deceased was stationed at the front police station in the parish. Ex-cop charged for 2013 murder in St. James remanded. Former police constable Ramon Edwards was today remanded in the St. James Parish Court in relation to a case of fatal shooting committed in 2013. His lawyers are expected to seek bail. Edwards, who subsequently resigned from the police force and relocated to Canada, was returned to Jamaica where he was arrested and taken into custody at the Norman Manley International Airport on December 30, 2022. The murder charge was as a result of an investigation by the Independent Commission of Investigations and a ruling by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. Edwards is charged in relation to the October 10, 2013 fatal shooting of the St. Christie in Glendevon, St. James. The incident occurred during a joint police military operation in the area. Indicom's investigation was concluded in 2016 upon the completion of the Commission's report and the receipt of all scientific reports. The charge of former Constable Edwards has been pending since 2018 when a ruling was received from the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. Following the shooting incident, the former constable relocated to Canada and left his job. The former constable will remain in police custody until his next court appearance. Attorneys representing Edwards requested January 6, 2023 for the purpose of a bail application. St. Andrew Tal charged after gun seized at his home. A man has been charged following the seizure of a firearm and ammunition on Linders Road in St. Andrew on Tuesday. Charged with unauthorized possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition is 28-year-old Neil Patrick Logan, a teller of Linders Road. Reports from the Denham Town Police are that about 5.45 p.m., a team conducted operations at Logan's home. According to the police, a Taurus 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 10 9mm cartridges was found inside his bedroom. He was subsequently arrested and charged. Logan's court date is being arranged. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.